Welcome to Mojo Plays, and this is our list of upcoming open world games in 2020 and beyond. There are a large handful of worlds to explore in the next couple of years. If you want a new universe to get lost in, here are a few you may want to keep on your radar. Though, keep in mind, we won't be including Gods and Monsters because we don't know if that game is open world. Move it! Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Elder Scrolls VI There's only one important thing we know about this game. It exists. And this is the only clip that's been shown off. Hopefully, when Bethesda get their dignity back, we can give them more screen time. So, moving on. Skull and Bones. You want to catch your victim off guard. Captain, there she is! It seems that pirate games have struggled to provide players a real experience in swashbuckling, plundering, and hunting for treasure. Most have been decent at best, but it's about time we get a package that lets us live the life of a scurvy sea dog. Ubisoft's Skull and Bones has spent a long time in the oven, but each time Ubisoft shows the game, it looks better than before. Along with customizable ships and treasure hunting challenges, Skull and Bones will allow you to sail the seas alone or with your friends. No release window has been given yet, but here's hoping we get a concrete release date before the end of 2020. Beyond Good and Evil 2 When Beyond Good and Evil 2 was first revealed back at E3 2017, it was hard to believe. A cult classic and commercial flop from 2003 is getting another game? One would think Ubisoft would have left the game in the past. On the contrary, Ubisoft seems to be just as excited about the project as the fans are. Lock down the bay column. Give you auxiliary engines. Deploy shields and pick up bombs now. Brace yourselves. Judging from what we've seen so far, the game looks to be receiving a massive budget, and the developers are cooking up an original story with some familiar faces to throw in the mix. The gameplay also looks to be incredibly ambitious, not only because it's an open solar system, but the planets seem to be heavily detailed as well. Welcome to Ganesha City, a dense, vertically built metropolis where the rich live at the top and the poor huddle in shanty towns built into the sides of the city's foundations. Dying Light 2. Hey. UV flashlight. Very strong, but needs to be aimed. All right, I'll just say I love this franchise. I played so much Dying Light 1, it took over my life. Okay, in a market oversaturated with zombie shooters, Dying Light was the title to break the mold thanks to its massive detailed environments and incredibly fun multiplayer. Our only gripes with the game were its characters and story, which felt half-baked. And honestly, it doesn't really matter, the gameplay's so much fun. <clears throat> Luckily, Dying Light 2 is looking to tell a much more compelling narrative and will include branching paths affected by the player's choices. Catch that truck, or you would never get onto that alley. The first choice, chase the truck or stay with Frank. Given how often publishers will use the buzz phrase, player's choice, it is understandable for some to be skeptical. But Techland's success and goodwill with its fans tells us that we shouldn't miss out on this one. But only he knew the area was flooded for a reason. Microsoft Flight Simulator When compared to other titles on this list, Microsoft Flight Simulator really looks like an odd choice, doesn't it? However, let's be honest, we've all spent hours trying to land that damn plane. And now, we'll get to try it in a brand new installment. Scheduled to launch sometime in 2020, Microsoft Flight Simulator will let players fly around the world, visiting different landmarks built with photorealistic models and boasting 4K resolution. Something tells us we're going to need this when we go pick up one of those Xbox Series Xs if we want to get the full experience. Watch Dogs Legion Not today. 
Is there any surprise that a third Ubisoft game is on the list? They are looking to focus on developing open-world games primarily, and they're boasting a pretty great lineup for the next year or two. Whereas Skull & Bones' main attraction is its pirates theme, and Beyond Good & Evil 2 has a group of space pirates, Watch Dogs Legion presents a concept of turning nearly every NPC into a playable character. Each one of your new best friends is a unique gameplay build, so dust off your sorting hat and give them a class. Yes, any character can be recruited for your mission, and they each have their own stats and abilities. However, if they die in battle, that's it. They're gone. Man, this might actually be the shakeup that Watch Dogs has needed. London's calling. Get out there and take it back. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> If you're a fan of the Sly Cooper or Infamous franchises, you may have found yourself wondering just where the heck Sucker Punch Productions has been. We can't blame you for your concern. The studio hasn't released a game since Infamous First Light all the way back in 2014. In case you've missed the few times they've shown off their newest game, Sucker Punch has been hard at work developing Ghost of Tsushima. players will take the role of Jin Sakai, a lone samurai who must master the way of the ghost in order to fend off the first Mongol invasion of Japan. From what we've seen of the game, the environments look stunning, and the combat is going to be immensely fun. Yet despite its heavy use of particle effects, the game is still set for a PS4 release in 2020. That's very impressive. Cyberpunk 2077 Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. Honestly, the more we see of this game, the more we can't help but get excited, but also worried our PC rigs won't be able to handle the game. I mean, yeah, Stadia is a thing, but come on. CD Projekt Red is clearly sparing no expense for this game. We're on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. Explorable high-rises, a diverse group of music artists all making music solely for the game, endless customization options, missions with widely branching paths, you freaking name it. I could go on, but then I might have to change my pants. Oh, yeah, and Keanu Reeves is in it. What other reason do you need to get this game? That was just a glimpse of what we have in store for you. See you in Night City. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, that's not what it's called. Say what you will about the weapon durability, Breath of the Wild was a major stepping stone not just for the Zelda series, but for open world games as a whole, allowing players to seamlessly explore the Kingdom of Hyrule at their own leisure with zero restrictions. Couple that with breathtaking visuals and epic boss fights, and Breath of the Wild became a must-own for Switch users. Heck, I even bought a Switch for that. And Smash Bros. Anyways, Nintendo hasn't shared much of what the sequel has in store for us, but from what's been shown so far, we couldn't be more excited. Like, I really couldn't be more excited even if I tried. I'm trying. I'm really excited. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.